This is a video about Yelink MBC S40 unboxing. Step 1. Connect and install Smart Vision 40. Connect the USB cable to the USB B port. Don't forget power adapter. Fit part A of the cable cover into the slots. Assemble part B and fix the screws. Put on a flat surface. Smart Vision 40 can put on the desk directly. Use silicone pads to attach the Smart Vision 40 to the TV stand cart platform. Mount above a TV or a display. Attach the M1 bracket to the Smart Vision 40. Mounting the M2 bracket to the M1 bracket. Tip, the M2 bracket can be inserted into the M1 in two directions. Tear or tape the Velcro on the M2 bracket. Mount on a wall. The installation height of the Smart Vision 40 should be at 1.1 meters or above. It is also possible to install it in an embedded manner. Mark the holes. Drill holes and insert expansion anchors. Drive in the screws. Fix the adjusting screw, which can adjust the angle of Smart Vision 40. Securing with self-locking screws. Mount on the tabletop mount. If your television cabinet has no enough height or you prefer not to mount your equipment on the wall, we can offer a tabletop mount. Use the self-locking screws install the mounting bracket on the Smart Vision 40. Fix adjusting screw. Attach Smart Vision 40 to the tabletop mount. Use the fixing screw to secure the device to the tabletop mount. Step 2. Connect M-Touch E2. Open the back cover of M-Touch E2. You can find these two cables in the M-Touch E2 package. Connect the CAT 5E cable through the bracket to the VCH port. Use the USB cable to connect and touch E2 and PC. Squeeze cables into the wire slot to prevent it from being pulled out by mistake. Tidy up the cables and cover the back cover.
tighten the screws. Step 3. Connect and install MCore Pro. Press the buttons on both sides to open. Connect the CAT 5E cable from MTouch E2 to the MTouch port of MCore Pro. Connect the other end of USB cable from Smart Vision 40 to the MCore Pro. You can find these cables in the MCore Pro package. Prepare a network cable to connect the MCore Pro to the network by yourself. Connect power adapter of the MCore Pro. Connect the HDMI cable as needed for the display. Close the bottom cover until hearing the meaning it has been fastened. Fasten the MCore Pro with machine screws. Install MCore Pro. Pay attention to the direction of the bracket before mounting it on the wall and on the display. Remember to connect all devices to a power supply. Step 4. Set up the system. On the EULA interface, select the Agree checkbox. Click Next. On the account interface enter the email account and password of Skype or Microsoft. Select Skype for Business and Microsoft Teams default from the supported meeting mode drop-down menu. Click Next. Click Next. On the advanced interface, configure the domain. Click Next. Click Finish to finish the setup.